Hey Scott, did you know that those people that list for sale by owner net 16% less than those that list with a real estate agent? I did know that. And here's seven reasons why you should not list for sale by owner. When listing a home with a real estate agent, they have a specific formula that will get the most buyers to come to your home. This includes things such as professional photography, home staging, and the advertising that they do online. As a realtor, we have a large network of agents in the Lehigh Valley. All those agents have their buyer to work with, and they will be showing your home through the MLS system. The MLS also syndicates your listing out to Trulia, Zillow, and Realtor, which are the three largest home search sites. Did you ever go to one of these sites to look for a home? I didn't think so. The number one issue when selling a home is pricing, and this is no exception when it comes to for sale by owners. They're either pricing it too high or they're pricing it too low. If a home is overpriced, it's gonna sit too long and then home buyers are gonna think that something is wrong with it. If a home is underpriced, you're only gonna attract bargain shoppers that just wanna get a deal. A lot of for sale by owners tend to overvalue their property because of how much they have invested in it. But the only true measure of how much the property is worth is the current market. A big thing that'll hurt people that do for sale by owners is not knowing how to properly negotiate with the buyer, especially if that buyer is represented by an agent. When you're doing for sale by owner, you have to assume that you're a better negotiator than the buyer is. When you're working with a real estate agent, you have the agent working in your best interest, trying to negotiate the best price for your home. When purchasing a property, there's a lot of paperwork and legal documentation that needs to be checked off. If handled incorrectly, the buyer could actually not own the home or come after the previous owner for litigation. For example, if the homeowner does not disclose certain defects with the property, the buyer could then come after the previous homeowner post-sale for damages. When you're doing for sale by owner, there's a lot of time and energy that you're gonna end up spending when if you used a realtor, you wouldn't have to. For instance, you have to schedule photos, showings, uh, you have to bring buyers into the house, give them a tour, listen to their feedback. Uh, somehow you have to get contracts written up, whether that's working with an attorney or doing it by yourself, which would require a lot of research on your end. A lot of buyers that are looking at for sale by owners may not even be able to purchase the property. When you're working with an agent, you already know that they're working with qualified buyers. When a realtor is showing your home, they're working with vetted and qualified buyers. When you're doing for sale by owner, however, you just put your phone number on a sign and anyone can call it and schedule a showing. You don't know if these people are just coming in to see when you're going to be available, what kind of stuff is in your house. You really don't know the true intention of the person that's coming to look at your home. There's so many things to think about when you're listing your home with a real estate agent, let alone for sale by owner. Exactly. So why not let a professional agent take care of the headache for you? We'll handle the transaction and get you the top dollar for your sale. Sale by owner after this. Oh, what's that one?